So now I'm going to show how to do the same processing in OpenCV instead of MATLAB. And uh, I'll, I'll develop this program sort of in increments, although I'm not going to take the time to run each piece as I go along. I'll just show the pieces and then I'll run the final thing at the end. But um, you would start with a um, simple program like this, which simply grabs an image from a camera that's hooked to the computer. So vi uh, capture a video capture object um, opens the default camera, whatever you have attached. I have a USB a camera attached. Um, here I just show the size of the image just for uh, curiosity. Here I create a window that I'm going to display the image in. And here I just go to an infinite loop which captures the image using this um, uh, instruction, displays it using OpenCV's IM Show, and then tests to see if I've hit a key from on the keyboard. And if I've I wait 33 seconds, 33 milliseconds, and if if I've hit a key, and the value is equal to 27, which is the escape key, then I quit out of this loop. Okay, so once that runs, I will add this code. So I want to split the RGB image into a, a multi-band, uh, it's multiple bands. So um, C, OpenCV's function called split takes our input image that I've just grabbed from the camera and uh, puts it into three um, uh, OpenCV mat uh, objects. Basically, it splits it into three images and puts it into here. And then I want to uh, show those in three different windows. And I'll have created three windows um, using these names up here. Next thing I'll do is um, convert to HSV and display those bands instead of RGB bands. So um, I use OpenCV's function CVT color or convert color. So that takes the RGB image here and uh, creates a new image called uh, IMG HSV. And the mode that I want is called BGR to HSV because the default way OpenCV captures color images is blue, green, red, and not red, green, blue. OK, next thing I'll do is to threshold each of those bands. Um, and I'll just use two thresholds. Uh, one I'm going to call T min, so it will pick all the points greater than T min. And the other one will be called T max, so I get all the points less than T max. And then I'm going to and, and do a logical and of those two masks together to produce, let's say, an H mask. So I'm going to do that for the H band, the S band, and the V band. So instead of hard coding these thresholds in, I'm going to show how to set these thresholds interactively using track bars. So it's very easy to do. Um, the track bars will control these values that I declare as global variables. So I have three for the low, the T, low, T min, and uh, three for the T max, or I call them high here. So um, I, I create the windows like this, and this is how I attach the track bars to them. So for each of the three windows, I call create track bar. This is the name of the window. I'm sorry, this is the name of the track bar for that window. This is the window, one of the three windows that I'm assigning it to. This is the um, variable that that track bar will control. And this is the maximum value of the track bar and then this, I think, is, um, I forget what this is, but we're not using it. Um, and then uh, we'll actually call the threshold function. And it's just called threshold. So it takes an input image, produces an output image. Uh, you provide the threshold to threshold on, the resulting value. And um, we're going to actually use two versions of this which is specified by type. So one of them is called thresh binary. And thresh binary 
thresholds at the value you tell it to, but it will output white or or ones for everything above the threshold. And the other one we'll call threshold binary INV, and this will threshold at a value, but it will produce white for all the points less than a threshold. So, and then we're just going to add those two together. So this is what we, this is how we do the threshold. We're going to produce two intermediate images, um, image threshold low, image threshold high. Here's where we do the threshold using uh, image th threshold low. So we, we take our low value that we're thresholding on um, and we produce basically a, a new mask for the values that are greater than this. Then, then we take our input image, and we, which is in planes, and we threshold on this other value, and we produce an image a mass called image threshold high, and here we're going to output 255 for all the points less than high. So we end those two masks together using this function called bitwise and, and we put it back into this uh, array of images called planes. And then finally, we we take um, the three masks, one for H, one for S, one for V, and we end all of them together using this, and we put the result into something called image result. And again, here I clean up the result using some morphological operators. Basically, I'm just doing a, a closing operator here. Um, show the binary image. And then uh, what I'll do is draw the contours around the um, regions that are left. And um, those are really connected components. And in, in uh, OpenCV, they're called find contours. So we pass in our binary image. It creates a array called contours. So it's going to be an array of arrays, one for each contour. Um, and let's see, the method we'll use, oh, sorry, the mode we'll use is just this one, which says retrieve all of the contours. The method that we use will be this one here, which says don't do any approximation. And then the point offset um, we won't use. That's just an optional offset. So this is what that code looks like. Um, we create, we allocate our array of contours here. We call find contours, and it produces this um, array of contours. Finally, we draw the contours on the original image using OpenCV's draw contour function. And we're going to draw um, white contours with thickness 2 and show that. OK, so let me run that. Um, I've already put all that code into uh, Windows, um, Microsoft, Visual C++. So this is all the code that you saw earlier. Here's my trackbar values up here. Window names. Here I open the camera. Display the size of the image. Um, create the windows. Create the trackbars and assign them to the windows. And here's my infinite loop where I grab an image and display it, convert to HSV, split it into its component planes. Um, this code thresholds each band using my thresholds low and high and adds them together. Um, this shows the um, thresholded masks for each band. Um, this part ends the three masks together to produce my image result and displays that. Uh, this cleans it up using morphological operators. And this finds the contours and draws the contours. And finally, it waits for a key press. So I've got my ham camera hooked up, so let me go ahead and run that. So here's my input image. As you can see, it's live. Um, the next thing I'll show is the th bands. So here I've 
um, this is band zero so this is the hue and as you can see I'm, I'm choosing the hue to try to segment out this purple color here um, which seems to be sort of right in this range right there next I'm going to get the um, saturation that's this image um, and again I want to find a range of thresholds so, such that I get the the purple and not other things if I can help it and finally the um, intensity or value um, which um, is somewhere in here. Okay. So I and all that together and um, get um, pretty much only the purple values here. Finally I go ahead and draw contours on that as you can see um, does a pretty good job of drawing of identifying the purple regions and uh, drawing contours around that.